All right, now may we have our next contestant, please? In 1958, a mysterious guest on a TV quiz show had a startling secret. He was Philo T. Farnsworth, and he had invented the first electronic television system. He conceived the idea as a boy of 14 before leaving the family farm in Utah. By age 19, the self-taught young genius had convinced a group of San Francisco bankers to fund his project. By 1928, he was able to transmit a recognizable image. The 22-year-old inventor sent a telegram to his backers declaring, the damn thing works. Farnsworth went on to found larger laboratories and a factory, but in the end he couldn't compete with the financial might and legal firepower of his giant arch rival, RCA. Kept busy defending his patents, Farnsworth could not maintain his early technological edge, and in the late 30s, RCA finally took the lead for good. Vladimir Zworykin, RCA's chief scientist, became known as the father of television. Though his company survived until 1949, Farnsworth's only lasting recognition came 10 years earlier, when RCA finally agreed to license certain of his patents. It was the first time RCA had ever agreed to license technology from outside the company.